What's up guys, it's Jay Nyanjai back with another video and today I have with me the Sony One keyboard, a budget 60% mechanical gaming keyboard. In the last couple months, the keyboard industry has exploded, especially in the 60% category. Keyboards like the Vortex Poker, the Ducky 1-2 Mini, and the Ampro have all become icons of the 60% keyboard. However, these are all extremely expensive, at over $100 for each of them. Yet under the radar, Aseni is a keyboard company targeted at bringing high quality and good peripherals at a lower price, and their keyboard definitely reflects that policy. Right now on Amazon, the Aseni one is unavailable because of people like Brandon Taylor, Zach Rios, and Bad C Tech who have all announced how great this keyboard was, and people purchased the heck out of it. Well, when these come back in stock, the Sony one at $60 is definitely a great choice to consider when looking for a 60% mechanical gaming keyboard. Alright, let's get started. In the box, you first get keycaps on top, the keyboard below, the letter from the Sony, nothing short of amusing and informative, and a keycap holder and a removable USB Type-C cable hidden on the right. Honestly, what I enjoyed about this unboxing the most was the letter that Sony put in the box. I think that too many companies try to make their letters or manuals seem too formal, and the fact that Asseni is taking a more humorous approach is really interesting and sets them out from the other companies, especially since it seems like the people making this are people, not some large entity. When you first pull out the keyboard, it comes wrapped in plastic along with the keycaps. The cable that is featured with the Asseni one is a USB-A to Type-C, and is 1.5 meters long, or about 4.9 feet. One issue I had that you may encounter is when I first plugged it in, only the number key is shown in blue. But the way to remedy or fix this is to press F in, which is located at the bottom right and Q at the same time. What this does is it sets the keyboard to default mode, regardless of the mode you're set on. When it works though, this thing is beautiful. Each key was vibrant and very colorful with no issues on my end. There is also a program that Ascending offers on the website which I downloaded, and while it's definitely not the greatest, the fact that they made one is super helpful, especially if it wasn't necessary. Props to Ascending for aesthetics. The Ascending one is 14 inches long, 5.4 inches wide, and 1.7 inches tall, and weighs in at 1.64 pounds. For build quality, the base is made up of heavy duty plastic for sure, as I could not even flex the dang thing. The keycaps are double shot PBT, meaning that the font will retain its legend even after prolonged use, a feature not typically seen on keyboards at even this price range. I also appreciate how Aseni made sure not to make the font too gamery, unlike my last keyboard that had an aggressive gamer type font. Below the main keycap fonts, there are small pieces that represent the key when function is activated. At the bottom of the keyboard, there are unfortunately no flip out feet, but the build of the base props the keyboard up at a slight comfortable angle. Below the keycaps, the switches on mine are Gatoron Browns, and compared to my last Atemi Blues, they feel almost mushier with less of a tactile click when bottoming out. However, they're certainly quieter, which I really appreciate. Here's a quick sound test. The Sony one also has hot swappable switches, meaning that you could change out the types of switches in the keyboard. This is a feature sometimes not even seen in keyboards as expensive as $100 plus dollars, and it's absolutely insane that the Sony one has as many features as it does at this price point. Overall, the Sony one is a great keyboard and a great buy. With its incredible build quality, beautiful aesthetics and keycaps, detachable USB Type-C cable, and quieter switches, I'd recommend the Sony one any day.